It's Chris Bogart, and I'm going to give you a deck profile of a future Japanese deck. Uh, it's called Steel Swarm. It's uh, another Frog Monarch deck, basically, but as you can see, there's no need for Synchros. So, um, I'm on Dueling Network right now. You can look up these cards if you have a Dueling Network, but it is a very good deck, as I've seen so far. Here's the deck list. Um, three Steel Swarm Scout. It's like the Treeborn Frog, but I use three because you can use it as Treeborn Effect, and you can also get it with this card. Uh, three Steel Swarm Cell. It's a Cyber Dragon. You can special hit from your hand if you control no monsters. Uh, your opponent doesn't have to control a monster, though, but you can only tribute it for a Steel Swarm high level. Your Steel Swarm high levels are basically Monarchs. But I'm running two Swil Steel Swarm Caller because when you sacrifice and you tribute a Steel Swarm, uh, by tributing this card, you can special someone level 4 or lower Steel Swarm from your deck. So you can thin out your deck a little, have more beat sticks up. Uh, I use three Steel Storm. Steel Swarm Longhorns. Uh, it's a level 10, I believe. Uh, let me see. Level 9, I think. I could barely see. But you tribute summon by tributing a Steel Swarm monster, and it gains the effect. Once per turn, you can pay a thousand life points to select one monster on field and destroy it. So basically, you can pay a thousand per turn to destroy it, but it's a one sacrifice, and look at that. 3,000 beater. Uh, very good. Oh, and the downside of this deck, though, sadly, is all the defense of the monsters are zero. So. Yeah, next on the high levels count, we have three G Steel Swarm Gearstog. Steel Swarm Gearstog is a one sacrifice, 2600, and when it's summoned, you can select one card your opponent's controls and send it to the graveyard and gain a thousand life points. It is like a Caius, it is a level 7, and you gain a thousand instead of taking, in your, instead of your opponent possibly taking a thousand, but instead of destroying, it cannot be negated by Stardust, it sends to the graveyard. Next, we have three Steel Swarm Moth. Uh, it's a 2400 one sa sacrifice when it's tribute summoned by tributing a seal, Steel Swarm. You can pay a thousand life points to select up two cards your opponent controls and return them to the owner's hand. So basically, it is a double compulsory or a uh, scrap twin dragon, but uh, three of those because you could use combo off with Gyrus Dog to equal out life points. I use two Steel Swarm Mantis because it is a level 5 one sacrifice, 22 beater. But when it's tribute summoned by Steel Swarm Monster, you can pay a thousand life once to select one Steel Swarm from your graveyard and special summon it. So you can grab one, grab the other, grab another, like, collar or the 3000 meter, for example. Uh, la we have a Dark Arm Dragon, because you don't really have that d any darks in the graveyard usually. This is very good early game. And um, why not put it in a dark deck, right? And I also run three Mystic Tomatoes to search out for your scouts, your cells, uh and each other. So it's a defense mechanism, plus I'm running two creature swap, creature swap the tomato, attack it, uh, take their monster, attack it, still get your search. So that's very good. Then I'm running three first step towards infestation, uh, it returns one of your tributed summon the steel sword monsters to hand, and you draw a card. So you're able to recycle these uh, effects, like to gain a thousand, to store, get rid of one card on your opponent's side effect, or to bounce to pay a thousand effect. Very good quick play spell card. Dark Hole, Giant Trunade, 2 Mystical Space Typhoon, Monster Reborn, Book of Moon, and Mind Control are pretty much all staples. I did choose to run Mind Control, not for the synchroing fact, but if they only have one monster and you're able to take a bunch of monsters, if you have a bunch of monsters already, that one monster could be a Reborn Tengu, you could take their Tengu and lower their defenses and attack all directly, except for the Tengu, obviously. But it opens you up to direct attacks and getting rid of retarded Tengu. Next, I'm running two Infestation Ripples. Uh, pay 500 to special summon one level 4 lower Steel Swarm from the graveyard and special summon it. So basically, it gets you out of tight spots. Um, obvious, but I only run two because for the scouts, you have to have no spells or traps. So don't not that many traps. Then I have two Means of Infestation. Means of Infestation. Its effect is activated by sending one Steel Swarm monster from your deck to the graveyard and select one face up Steel Swarm you control. Select the monster gains 800 attack to the end phase. So basically, if you open up with this, you could play that, give it 800 attack, and send this to the graveyard for future sacrificing. So it's very good, um, but not no need at 3. And for the final card in the deck, Infestation Wave, only have it at 1. But you could turn one face-up tribute summon the Steel Swarm monster to hand, destroy one card your opponent controls. Recycles, again, your tribute summons, like this guy, the big one for example, or uh, Gyrus Dog, mostly Gyrus Dog, Moth, and Mantis. But also destroys an opponent's card. So, yeah, that's my deck profile for uh, Steel Swarm, a very uh, a deck I've seen which is very good. It's another Frog Monarch deck. It's the future Frog Monarch deck that does not need Synchros, 
So it's most likely le like less expensive of a deck. But I hope you enjoyed this uh, Japanese deck profile, and um, I'll be coming up with more vids soon. And that's pretty much it. Peace out, YouTube.